Long Island Island in school. Yep. And so what was that? I've never heard you talk about the fact of like how strange that must be to have been a you know fairly young kid and have that experience where it's in your mind only and no idea that it's ever gonna become a movie and certainly that you're never gonna be in it. Did it match what you had in your head when you finally saw the movie? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the book had such um, um, a, a profound effect on me, these characters, the voices of these characters, that's in the writing, certainly. Um, the voices of these characters were, were just right in front. It was almost like reading the book was like watching the movie, the description of the look of the characters and how they carry themselves and, and the dialogue be, between them. That's, that defines great writing. So, so I didn't know that at that time. I just knew it was a good book. And, and when I read Johnny's description, you know, I remember kind of looking in the mirror in my room and just saying, and it kind of, kind of looks a little like me, you know, the big eyes. And I, you know, I wasn't the most athletic guy on the, on the block. And, you know, I had the hunched shoulders and the bad postures. And I was like, you know, so I, and that was just like a little bit of the daydreaming part of who I was anyway. When I was, a, not to go too much off topic, but when I was a kid, I would come home from school five, six years old from kindergarten, first grade, and, and my mom would have, you know, what was called the 430 movie on Channel 11 in New York, and it was, you know, it was Humphrey Bogart, it was Gene Kelly and Singing in the Rain, it was Casablanca, and, and so I, you know, and then later when it was movies like Rocky and stuff like that, I, my head was out the window and I was playing whatever part in my mind. So the same happened for when I read The Outsiders, I, you know, I felt I knew who Tubit Matthews was and I knew who Dallas was. Not that I knew them, but I, I, I knew, I, you know, I could feel these characters. So Johnny was just one that connected. And then when I got to the end of the book and, and, and he's by far the best character in my home. <laughs> um, I just always, so when I, the day that I heard they're making a movie by, and that uh, I was, I, came, I jumped out of my shoes because I just started working as a young actor. Um, and, uh, and as the story goes, I auditioned for Fred Roos, the great the producer of The Outsiders who cast had a big hand in casting all of us. And I didn't get to the next round. And the movie was not gonna be directed by Francis Coppola at that time. Right. Um, um, it was just something that I- Zotro bought. Zotro bought, and they were gonna have another, a female director, I believe. Yeah. Um, was it Martha Coolidge? I'm, I'm just, no, maybe not. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. But they had a, and so then, the movie didn't get made at that point, and I didn't get the part, and so I went into acting classes right away. I lived in Los Angeles at the time because I, I took a hit. Like I didn't get the part that I that I wanted, and I I, I went to and studied acting at, at that point a little bit further. Um, and one of the scenes I did was uh, was Johnny in the hospital, you know, um, and that was one of my scene study scenes. So then when the movie came back around with Francis Ford Coppola at the helm, then it was like, okay, it's game time. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, um, and somehow I wound up uh, getting the part I always wanted. So that is a good I story. have to tell you about the first time I saw Ralph in a table read because I didn't know anything about him. Uh, well, I didn't know anything about most of them except that because we'd already done a movie together. But, um, we had this table read, and all I knew about Ralph was, you know, he'd been in this TV show called Eight is Enough, and I knew this part was really big. And I was like, oh God, can this kid do it? We had that table read, and I went, oh, thank God, yes. <laughs> I even went up to Ralph, and I slapped him in the back, and I said, kid, you gave me a good night's sleep tonight. <laughs> Susie, do you remember?